This is the new Yolo Box Ultra from Yolo Live. The Yolo Box Ultra is a fully integrated tablet style live streaming solution that can now stream up to 4K. Not only that, it has a touchscreen design that's intuitive and easy to use if you're coming from a computer running open broadcaster software. This replaces the need for a computer and does all the heavy lifting. But is it any good? Let's get into it. Welcome back folks, my name's Shane. In today's video, I have my hands on the latest version of the Yolo Box from Yolo Live, the Yolo Box Ultra. If you've followed my channel over the last few years, I've reviewed the original Yolo Box, the Yolo Box Pro, and the Mini. These devices are made to simplify the live streaming experience, which means you don't need a computer or anything else to get live streaming. At the time of filming, these retail for $1,499 US dollars. So yeah, they're not cheap, but it's a 4K device, and we'll talk more about its benefits coming up throughout this video. The Yellow Box Ultra, like the previous versions, is designed to stream to multiple platforms at once without any subscription service. This new version also supports ISO recording, which means you can record each individual input and then use them in editing later on, much like the A10 Mini Pro ISO. Pairing the ISO recording with the 4K functionality of this unit was the main reason why I wanted to test this out. We'll take a look at the new hardware features and capabilities of this unit, and I'll give you my final thoughts about it at the end. Thanks to Yolo Live for sending this unit out to the channel. No money's changed hands, but they are letting me hold onto the sample unit. Just to let you know, they have no input into this video, nor get to preview it ahead of time. Let's start with what's new. The Yellow Box Ultra is loaded with the new Qualcomm 865 CPU capable of 4K streaming to multiple platforms at the same time. You can stream in either standard horizontal mode or in portrait mode, depending on the platform. The Yellow Box Ultra features network bonding, which allows bonding of up to five networks to share the heavy lifting of the streaming. This means you can share the Wi-Fi, 4G, Ethernet, or USB modems together to get reliable speed and quality. If you plan on streaming at home over Wi-Fi or over Ethernet, you won't need the network bonding, but if you do want it, it is part of a paid subscription upgrade, so just keep that in mind. We get an eight inch touchscreen display with 650 nits of brightness, making it slightly brighter than the previous in-stream version, and it's the brightest screen so far. Viewing angles, much like the previous edition, are fine whether you're on an angle looking at it face down on a desk like this, or if you've got it sitting on a tripod. There's also a brand new battery in here as well. It's rated up to six hours of use and it is rechargeable. I'm just currently powering the unit via USB-C. I'll give you a quick hardware overview of this new Yolo Box Ultra. The new Ultra allows up to four HDMI inputs that support 4K. This is a huge step forward for live streaming devices. These HDMI inputs can be used with mirrorless cameras, camcorders, computers, or any other source that supports it. If you don't have a 4K camera, no problems, you can still stream and record in 1080p or 720p if you choose to. There's a dedicated USB-C port that can be used for webcams, giving you an additional video input. We get an SD card slot right next to the SIM card spot on the side right next to me here. There's a few new outputs, including a USB webcam out that's listed as coming soon, and a HDMI output so you can see everything on a larger monitor, and I'm using that right now in the studio. As mentioned earlier, this can be used on Wi-Fi, 4G, or the dedicated ethernet port located right next to the HDMI inputs. This has enough power to get the job done. Charging the unit is done via USB-C PD. At the time of filming, there was not an Australian connector available, but it's working fine with my standard USB-C PD cable that I use for my cameras here in the studio, and it will work without the battery going down. As you can probably see on screen here, it's still at 100%. Like the previous versions, there's an analog 3.5 millimeter audio input and headphone output. Now, I would usually recommend running your audio via one of your cameras for best results. That way, the sync is going to be perfect and it's going to be a lot easier to monitor your audio visually on the screen here. The power button's located on the bottom right-hand side. If you want to power the unit, simply hold it down for a few seconds and it will turn on. Same if you want to turn it off. If you're already using the unit and you push the power button, it will give you the option for a reset or, of course, you can just shut it down. So it's up to you how you choose to use it. If you plan on using this with a cage or tripod stand, there's a single quarter 20 screw point on the bottom which allows you to mount the Yellow Box Ultra to a tripod, stand, or cage. The Yellow Box Ultra weighs only 4.3 pounds, which works out to about 1.9 kilograms. For an all-in-one device with a killer screen, this is great. Now, if you plan on doing any type of travel in a multi-camera environment, this will make for a much better solution than going for a dedicated hardware switcher and an external screen. You get everything built into one. Now, last year, I shot some videos in Florida and I did a big multi-camera environment. I had to bring a lot of equipment. This would have much simplified the whole recording process. Even though we weren't streaming, the recording quality out of this is exceptional, and we'll touch on that in just a moment. Up next, I'll cover how this unit works with multiple platforms, because there's a bit of confusion around this. 
Once you buy the hardware and set up the YOLO Live account, you can connect it to your socials and stream. That's it. It's that simple. While you can just stream for free with the YOLO Box Ultra, there is also a paid subscription model, which is why a lot of people get confused. But if you just buy this, you don't need the subscription model to start streaming, which is awesome. If you want to learn more about that, I'll link it down in the description box below. The streaming quality out of this is solid. I would consider this another step forward from the very popular Pro model I reviewed quite some time ago. You can stream to almost anywhere, including YouTube, Snapchat, Twitch, Instagram, or Facebook with RTMPS. The setup process is easy if you know your login details, of course, to those platforms. It's a great way to get online fast with just the touch of a button. Having the ability to now stream in 4K is a massive step forward. I get so many requests to review 1080p switches that I end up saying no to because there's so many of them already available. This is a feature that will set your streams apart from other alternatives and other streamers. Let's talk about what we get in the box. So included, we get everything we need to get going. There's a high quality screen protector, the Yellow Box Ultra. Man, it looks great. Take a look at this. We get a quick start guide, a user manual, a camera cold shoe adapter for using the Ultra on top of a mirrorless camera or cage, a USB-C to USB-C cable, and a USB-C to USB-A cable, which is that standard USB 3 on one side, so you can see from the blue end. In the box, we also get an Allen key, or a hex key as they're known in other parts of the world, and a SIM card door slot tool if you plan on using the 4G capability. The Yellow Box Ultra has a few really great additional features, including chroma key support or green screen. If you're a gamer wanting to get an overlay for your gaming footage, this makes that whole process a whole lot easier. There's a lot of great built-in graphics, banners, transitions, and effects, including many of the ones found in the Yellow Box Pro. One of my favorite features on this as a solo content creator is I can go live and have the cameras auto switch at a time designation of my choosing, which is fantastic. And you can also record with this as well at the same time. This is awesome. It means you can have four cameras set up and just have them auto switch. It's very Peter Gregg. <laughs> this also allows you to have guests join your live stream. I think this was added to the Yolo Box Pro back in the day as a firmware upgrade feature, but it comes stock with this one, which is pretty wild. If you've seen my Yolo Box Pro review, this has everything that that has and then some extras. So it's full of really great features. All right, let's cover recording and recording quality. The Yolo Box Ultra is by far the best encoder recorder I've seen from Yolo Live. The colors and contrast look great. If you're recording to the SD card, it appears to split your files every 3.5 gigabytes or so. But if you're recording to SSD, I can just record to one big file and I'm using the little USB out on the back of the device directly to this Samsung SSD. Now you can either record a single output in 4K, which means you can record the program output or your first camera, whichever one you choose, or you can record each individual input as its own file and that will all be saved to the same folder on the SSD drive. The biggest benefit of this unit is that 4K program output recording. And while that's just a single file and whatever you do at the time of mixing your show, whatever the case may be, that's what you get. But I love it. It means you're getting a much higher resolution than 1080p. It still allows you to crop in a little bit after the fact as well if you need to readjust some things. So I love it. Just know though, if you want to record all of the inputs at once, you have to have it set to 1080p. When it comes to frame rates, this allows you to record at 20, 24, 25, 30, 50, and 60p. So all the standard frame rates and 20 frames per second. <laughs> I'm not sure what that's for, but it's there if you so need it. Here's an example of how great the recording quality is on the Yellow Box Ultra recording in 4K. So I'm just getting the single input recording right now, but this is versus my Panasonic S5 Mark II's internal recording so can you see a difference the yellow box does a great job at recording also once you turn the bitrate up you get exceptional image quality you can also choose between h.264 and h.265 for high efficiency video codecs i would have no problems recommending this as a multi-camera recording tool editing shane here after looking at the comparison the image quality out of the yellow box ultra looks spectacular it looks every bit as good as my S5 Mark II file. I couldn't tell a difference. If you told me one was the other, I would believe you. So they look very similar. Now, I did notice a bit of an issue though, and that's that I have this set to 25 frames per second, being that I'm in the PAL region and it's what I'm shooting with with my cameras. I noticed it recorded at 25.64 frames per second, which is really odd. It should be 25 frames per second, 0 0.00. That's what we shoot in the PAL region. So this was slightly out. It was giving me almost of just over half a frame extra every second, which accounts for the judder or jitter. I've tested this for recording quite a few times and looked at the files and they look great, but I never placed them next to camera files until I got into editing. So 
Consider this potentially one of the small bugs with this, but if you're just using the files out of this on a project's timeline and you set your timeline to auto, it should all look good, but it's definitely a bit of a weird sort of bug that I found with this that it just records just over the PAL frame rate of 25.00. Either way, I just want to make mention of this so Yolobox gets the feedback and you're well aware of this if you're also in the PAL region. Let's take a look at the live streaming quality out of the Yolo Box Ultra. Now, what you're looking at right now is my primary camera set up exactly the same as before. Camera number two over here, and I've got the audio just coming out of my primary camera. It was nice and easy to go live. I can, I've got all my platforms available right here, including YouTube, Facebook, Twitch, or any custom settings that I want to use. So it's great just to go to multiple platforms nice and simply, and the screen and everything's just working great. So no complaints whatsoever. Let us know what you think of the overall quality of this live stream. Let's cover all of the audio options. So unlike the earlier versions of the Yolo Box, you can now mix between different input sources. You can see that HDMI 1 is on, and that's my primary camera. That's the only audio that I want, because if I switch cameras in the AFV mode, which you can see the button on screen, it's going to swap to the onboard microphone on my camera, which is not what I want, right? I want this audio right here, or a shotgun mic going into a camera, whatever the case may be. You just want that, right? So I leave the program on in HDMI one on and I'm good to go but the great news is now you can also mix channels I can turn on HDMI 2 and 3 and then mix the volumes accordingly this is an absolute game changer for people wanting to do podcasts or gaming where prior it was really hard to get the audio mixed properly now you can do it all inside the Yellow Box Ultra this is a massive upgrade well done Yellow Live all right, let's cover some of the cool features built into the Yolo Box Ultra. Now, the first thing I love is this screen, right? So as I move my hand, there's no lag, there's no judder or jitter, whatever you want to call it. It just looks great. So they've done a great job just making this lagless, which I can appreciate. Now, if we tap on this button here, it brings up my switching mode so I can switch between all the different cameras in real time just by tapping on those icons. Now, you can also do picture-in-picture -picture or split-screen mode. And I've already set one of them up. So how cool is this? I could use this as an output and you're seeing it with the overlay right now so if i remove that you got a good representation of what that will look like that's being recorded externally not within the actual device right now actually i am recording in the device right now too but i'm also recording all of this separately just in case but yeah this is a really great way of uh just making your streams more interesting especially if you're doing a tutorial you might want to show the product as well as address the camera so it makes it easy and it becomes one of your sources which i really love i think this is fantastic like the previous version we can still get the scoreboard display to come up as well so you know if you're doing some sort of sporting event you can just simply put your scoreboard wherever you like on screen here you got to tap it then move it it's been a while so yeah basically that's as simple as that gets all your audio configurations are under the audio tab we also get some titles we can add as well like overlays there's image overlays lower thirds countdown timer titles web URLs or social overlays as well. So it gives you all the great presets here that you could need to get going. You simply type in your username in here on Facebook if you're on there and Instagram, all that kind of stuff. Now, if you want to follow me, I'm a geeky nerdy techie on Instagram. So there you go. <laughs> Here's how it looks with my Instagram account on screen over on the right hand side over here. This is really cool and you can position it wherever you like. If you want to make adjustments, all you have to do is tap on the second icon from the left, hit the edit tool over here and then you can reposition it wherever you like. So you can just drag it around with your finger, which is fantastic. Or you can, of course, make it as large or as small as you like by using the scale tool over here. And you can change all of the appropriate settings just on screen if you want to change the username to yours, of course. And then you can do that, change the font, all that kind of stuff as well. So let's change the font to this one. Looks a little bit more tech. Hit done. And we're good to go. There's a lot of the same great functionality when it comes to transitions and text overlays. So if you're looking to set up a lower third, a title, or use some different transitions, all of that is still built into this. One of the things that makes solo live streams pretty boring is that there's usually one camera and not a lot of dynamic sort of interaction. I love the fact that the auto switching feature will allow you to set up multiple input sources and have the camera switch at a designation of your choosing. Now, by default, it's set to 10 seconds. You can make this 30 or a minute, whatever the case may be and it just makes your stream so much more enjoyable. I've got an A cam here and a B cam over there, and this will allow me to just have the cameras rotate, for example, without having to do it manually, so I can keep an eye on the chat and all that kind of stuff that's going on within my YouTube stream or wherever I'm streaming to. So this is a really powerful feature. 
Let's take a quick look at how this works. So once you log in with a YOLO Live account, you're greeted with three different options. So the mode I was in for basically the entire video because I'm not live streaming right now is monitor mode on the right hand side. And this allowed me to basically do all of what you saw before. It's fantastic. That's your recording mode or monitor mode. It's awesome. Then we get vertical live streaming. So if you wanna to stream to a platform that's got that vertical orientation, you can do so and multiple platforms at the same time, like Instagram and TikTok, whatever the case may be. And then we have our standard live streaming options on the left over here. So Twitch, YouTube, Facebook, RTMP services, whatever the case may be. You've got all of them built right into the screen. Now, if you tap on the top right over here, there's a little uh, icon, a little person icon. This is your account and setting screen. So you can see which services I've already got connected. I've only got the one connected right now because I don't have a Facebook account anymore. I got rid of it. Best move I ever made. Anyway, that's just me. But anyway, we've got all of this other stuff down here. You can change your time zone, language, keyboard settings. You can see all of your recordings, all that kind of stuff, see what's used here. But essentially we've got our frequently asked questions. So you get a bit of a help menu here as well. You can also change the power down mode from one to three to five to 10 minutes. You've got all of these options currently disabled. Uh, and I much prefer just leaving that off. If I wanna turn this off, I do it myself. And the great news is again, thanks to the power supply I'm running right now, it's still at 100% power, pretty cool. All right, let's wrap this video up. I'm gonna give you my thoughts on the Yolo Box Ultra. Just in terms of my hands-on experience, starting from the original Yolo Box all the way till today, this is by far the most polished straight out of box experience I've had. I only found one bug and that was the recording frame rate bug that I mentioned earlier. With the exception of that, everything worked as expected. I have no complaints. I used this for hours and thanks to the active cooling and the vents on the side, there were no problems with it getting too hot or anything like that. I've just turned it off and it's still quite cool to the touch. So that's awesome. It really would depend on how hard you're driving it. But I love the fact that you've got so many great features built into this and everything's very intuitive. At the end of the day, if you're not interested in learning how to use open broadcaster software or buying a laptop and all that kind of stuff, this is your all-in-one solution. This is by far the best one I've tested, so well done YOLO Live. Just check for future firmware upgrades as of releasing this video to see whether or not that bug has been fixed. But overall, I'm very impressed. Well done YOLO Live, and if you wanna check this out, I'll link it down in the description box below. Thanks for watching, catch you soon. See ya.